Welcome back to Friday Football Extra. If you thought EC Glass was dead, well, you may hold off on that obituary. The Toppers lost two early games, but are pulling it together when it counts. The Toppers won their second district game tonight, shutting out GW Danville 22 to nothing. Mark Roberts has our story from Danville. It was the 35th annual Shrine game at GW Danville, but not even the Shriners could raise enough support to help the Eagles on this night, and EC Glass made sure of that. Early in the first quarter, the Hilltoppers' Marcellus Deloach pranced by the Eagles on the quarterback draw, giving E.C. Glass the early 7-0 lead. Danville quarterback Jason Payne had trouble all night long thanks to a swarming Glass defense. The Hilltoppers then used a little razzle-dazzle. Wide receiver Marshall Wood takes the end-around pitch and lofts the TD pass to a wide-open Rodney Hubbard. In the second quarter, GW tried to give Glass a taste of its own medicine, but Tony Lanier ended up getting stopped on the ground. E.C. Glass added a 22-yard field goal before the half and took a 16-0 lead into the locker room. Denville coach Ed Martin must have got out the fire and brimstone during halftime. The Eagles came out soaring to start the second half, but once again, all the Danville momentum was stopped by a tough E.C. Glass defense. In the fourth, Glass added some insurance as Tracy Donegan zips through the punt coverage and the Hilltoppers finished a dominating shutout, 22 to nothing. No, they, they deserved to win. They beat us here. We hadn't lost here since they beat us two years ago, and they beat us in uh, every way that you can be beaten, and they deserved to win a football game. We just started to gel. We, we came together after that bad half down at Patrick Henry, where to go, Hub, and we had a great set. We had a great ball game against Fleming. We super game against Halifax, and it just carried over. Our defense has played super the last three ball games. Coach, specifically, just off the line, it looked like your folks were in the backfield before they could even get a play go. Well, this is, all right, what a go call this is what we had to do we knew we had to blitz when the dan was had a great defense that's we had trouble moving the ball but we got a couple big plays with our speed and uh we felt like if we could keep them scoring we'd win a ball game we did both teams are now five and two in the western district and things don't get any easier for the eagles gw plays heritage next week a team that beat ec glass earlier this year mark roberts friday football extra